Hey, it's Rick with Classic Truck Rescue, making a real quick video before it gets dark of this uh, 55 GMC carry-all. Uh, after closer inspection, it's just not viable for a factory correct restoration. And I thought it was when I got it, but it, I kind of took a chance on this truck and had it shipped from a long way off based on how it was described to me and it was not accurately described because the guy didn't clean it out and it had about a foot of insulation in it house insulation that somebody was storing in here and then put it out in a field and we all know who moves in when you do that anyway there's no floors floors are history on this thing this uh, truck is basically good from the waist up but the parts of it that are good are very good no floors zero floors um, so I was contacted by a customer actually contacted me a long time ago but I didn't want to get up off of this thing but you know since we're moving on to some new property and kind of downsizing a little bit before we move and his carryall is in much nicer condition than mine and uh, unfortunately mine has everything that he needs to make his perfect um, so uh, the frame is really good. Like I said, no floors, but everything from the waist up is good on this. It's got all the window trim, the locks for the windows, uh, all the headliner stuff, correct dome light, bows. Um, the doors are rough on the bottom. Matter of fact, the driver's side one's rusted completely out, but they've got all the correct hardware, the hinges, handles. You've got the correct tail light slash license plate uh, bracket there. Correct uh, arms. Hold the doors from opening too far. Got all your correct latching stuff. Um, this is a part right here that's usually rusted out on all of them that I've seen. This one's really solid, but like I said, nobody home in floor land. So. But I already told you that no floors but the frames real good uh, it's got a lot good going for it the dash looks okay to me I'll, I'll check the dash out a little closer we'll move up there uh, it's got a real nice steering wheel and stuff on it uh, gauges are gone uh, but it does have all the uh, correct window stuff like I said and I guess that trims really hard to find in the locks and especially this stuff all up on top and the back part's good too we'll get another view it does have the fuel filler neck the correct one but the tank's gone because somebody decided to move it with a forklift the incorrect way anyway all that uh, trim that goes around the top is in real good shape on this doors uh, I'd say no good uh, the dash I think is actually not too bad I do see a lot of surface rust on here but it's just surface rust it brushes right off um, I don't know might need a little repair panel for the center section where the radio goes the rest of it is just surface rust though yeah it brushes right off I'd say the dash is pretty good it's got all the column stuff right there actually this column would work for you and if you want to go with the hydromatic shifter on it I do have the correct shifter that we could put on this column and save you some money there uh, it does have a deluxe heater in it um, I don't know what kind of shape it's in but it's all there it has all the correct under dash and under hood wiring dome light I've never seen one with the original dome light in it and that one's in pretty good shape it's got the dual visors uh, all the door handles window cranks it does have the chrome window trim too that doesn't really look all that bad all the glass was broke out of this somebody uh, having a real stupid day took it out on this poor truck anyway the front end's not too bad on it it does have that one center bar that you said you needed from uh, the Jeep being in the wrong spot there's your center grill emblem and the rest of the front end stuff 
I don't know, those uh, mustache ends probably aren't very good, but it's nice to have extra parking lights and uh, front end parts for these trucks since they haven't made them for like 60 years. Uh, the fenders actually aren't too bad compared to most I've seen. Like I said, the doors are shot. Nice wall art though. Jamie was talking about we should hang on to the doors. The frame I took you some still photos of. Uh, I did go all the way over the frame because I know that's the most important thing. Uh, this guy, somebody put his body on a later model frame and it's just wreaking havoc on the body because it's not sitting the way that it should be sitting. And uh, So I did spend extra time checking out your frame and it's a good one. Uh, under the hood, there's a few things that were on your parts list that you can scratch off your parts list if you get this. Starting with the hood latch. <laughs> and uh, it has the correct mounting stuff for your radiator core support. So that's cool. hood latch stuff and it's got the stuff on the hood too got the hood cross brace and the emblem that goes in the opening also has the radiator core support rods that go through the radiator and then bolt to your firewall on both sides also the firewall is actually in really good shape on this truck it, the, the problem is just with the floors and it starts down there by the tow board but the firewall itself is pretty good and you can kind of get an idea oh, the frame is there's no heavy pitting on the frame uh, it's real solid there's your correct engine mount and it has the mounting stuff for your core support and the correct cross member also has so there's your steering column I would take the three speed stuff off of there and put you uh, an automatic shifter all that I have of an automatic shifter on there and uh, also it has the correct master cylinder and all the brake stuff on it good hinges are pretty decent all this support stuff's pretty good anyway oh the inner fenders are nice on this too yeah, basically it was the only thing that really got tore up on this was the interior floor because it had all that insulation stuffed in there and it got damp and it rusted. Anyway, so we got a GMC truck, serial number 101 P Y 8884. The rest of it's just horsepower stuff for the uh, six owner and it's got a 5,000 gross weight. Uh, but like I said about the, the firewall is just really nice till you get into the tow board area. So, dash is solid too. It's just got surface rust on it. I don't think that'd be a good usable dash. Anyway, here you go. Pretty decent door panels too. Well, maybe not. I don't know. But all the stuff that is important to you is on there. And it's got a little bit of history from Bernie and Margie when they were uh, hanging out in this thing. There you go. That's a nice, accurate description. Also, the roof's really nice on this truck. There's a very nice roof on it. I was going to, after I discovered the condition of the floor, I was going to just save this truck. Well, I can't really tell anyone what I was going to do because I'm still going to do that uh, someday. This would have been an awesome truck to just find a panel truck with a real solid floor and use all the upper stuff, the suburban and carrier specific stuff for it. Also, I think it's got the latches, uh, the tracks for a lot of the seat stuff in here. Not all of it, but... I think it's got some of it. Anyway, I don't know if you're, you care about that or not, but 
some of that stuff's in there. Yeah. Here's a couple pieces of the window trim. The other ones are in it. Okay, so there's your accurate description of my 55 GMC carryall. Guess I'll be looking for another one. Need one that's just a little more complete. But if this old guy right here can go to to go to save another guy's carryall that needs a frame and a bunch of correct parts on the other side of the country. Let's do that. Peace out.